We've heard enough excuses from Hillary Clinton as to why she didn't win the White House. I didn't think there were any more left. But behold, there's another. Here's her latest gem. You may be the only uh, presidential candidate since World War II that actually had to stand up and say, I am a capitalist. <laughs> uh, and you did. Uh, did it hurt you? Probably. I mean, you know, it's, it's, hard, <laughs> it's hard to know. But I mean, if you're in the Iowa caucuses and 41% of Democrats <laughs> are uh, socialists or self-described <laughs> socialists, and I'm asked, are you a capitalist? And I say, yes, but with appropriate regulation and appropriate uh, uh, accountability, uh, you know, that, that probably gets lost in the, oh, my gosh, she's a capitalist. I, I mean all right, well, so people are like, yes, another. We're like adding him up, hashtag, yet another excuse. So what's going on here, Greg? Because I know you get delighted every time Hillary makes an appearance. It's, this one's especially hilarious because she's right. Yep. A large portion of the Democratic Party are sniveling socialists. They're for the <laughs> universal base income, higher taxes, top-down control yeah. over guaranteed people, jobs. guaranteed jobs. Identity over the individual, uh, but they weren't voting for Trump. She was their only choice, so she shouldn't be complaining. And I don't think the Democratic Party would actually disagree with her on this. They do; they are chasing a failed system. We have the most effective political, economic, e economical system in the history of the world, but the Democrats are like sideshow Bob. They keep walking into <laughs> rakes, you know. And it's always going to be; they're always going to move to socialism, and they're always going to fail. All right, that was a good uh, little. Sideshow Bob walking Synopsis. into rakes. Well, probably yeah, the best I know, episode. that analogy was good, but I think we should move this excuse maybe to number one. It actually has some credence to it. So well done, well done. But, but it's a I lie think. too. Well, but it is, too. it is very instructive about what's going to happen in 2020. Yeah. Because the ground really shifted under Hillary Clinton's feet sure from when she ran in 2008 to 2016. Um, in 2008, Bernie Sanders could not have run as an avowed socialist and won. If you think about the free trade politics of a JFK, a Bill Clinton, even a President Obama, everything had changed. And I don't know what they're going to do in 2020, because if the economy is going as well, it's going super well now. Can that continue to 2020? Probably for a little while here. How are they going to make an argument that there should be something different? I think that will be very difficult. But if you look at a place like Ohio right now, there's a very heated gubernatorial race. The Bernie Sanders supporters are out there in force and you have a state that is actually pretty turning pretty red and it's more likely that a Republican will be able to win both statewide contests, the Senate and the governor's race this year. All right, indeed. It's interesting. They're probably like furiously scribbling at home to come up with another idea. It's like, whoa, this tactic's not going to work. But it's true. You saw it with just kind of the groundswell of support, Jesse, for Bernie Sanders, more progressive candidates, forcing the Democratic Party as a whole to tack further to the left and more progressive ideology. A little bit of a pinch for him there. Yeah, Democrats like Bernie because he fights for the poor and he looks poor. That really helps him with the hair and everything like that. Right. Democrats don't do well when they run really wealthy candidates. If you look at Gore and Kerry and Hillary, you got to get someone like Bernie that's a little disheveled and can fight for the little guy. That's nope. authentic. But honestly, capitalism is a dirty word for Democrats. They love socialism, but they can't define it. When you ask a Democrat, and I do this on the street, where has socialism worked? They can never say. Has it worked in Venezuela? Not so much. They don't give you the old And they'll point Finland? to Sweden. Right. Yeah. So they'll point to Sweden. Okay, if Sweden's fine, if you want to be taken care of for the rest of your life, if you want to live a middle-class life, if you start with nothing in this country, you can have a yacht. In Sweden, that can never happen. The best part about America is there's upward mobility and grit, and that's rewarded. Like it's you, never going to be rewarded in Sweden. That's and it. that's why the Democrats get themselves in trouble, because they're always offering handouts instead of hand-ups. <laughs> I was like, so weird. It was like an infomercial. You too can get a yacht. Although I, can't I, just, I can just agree with you before Sweden. I get to one. You know, there are some very good looking poor people. Yes. <laughs> I was poor yes, for a I, long time. I was one of them. <laughs> yes. I was poor for a right. long time. And I'm still more poor than you. <laughs> yeah. Well, and better looking. Everyone was, like, everyone was poor in See, college. See, you just proved your point. <laughs> All right. Jesse really didn't mean that. Nevertheless, the mom text is going to be a uh, She already hit me up for a poll I cited. She wanted it sourced, <laughs> and she wanted the sample size. Yeah. And margin of error. All right. Juan, so, in so, fact, uh, you know, you're yeah. always, you always citing Rasmussen, which is uh, conservative-leading. 
they have almost half of Americans agreeing that we should have guaranteed jobs in this country. Well, that scares so me. So I guess, I guess they're a socialist. But I mean, <laughs> what you have at this moment in terms of income inequality is a heightened sense of concern and people feeling, oh, I got left behind, I'm never going to catch up, I can't get a house as good as my parents. But the key here is, I remember you guys going after Hillary Clinton during the campaign for why doesn't she release her speeches to Wall Street? What's, oh, so this is part of the same attack initiated by Bernie Sanders, who came within one percentage point of tying Hillary Clinton in Iowa, a state where about half of the Democrats said they are, they would are self-describe as socialists. And those numbers are national if you especially look at young Democrats. But I think they're confusing socialism with populism uh, of, of the Trump, Bernie Sanders style, yeah. which is really about speaking to economic needs in a nation where the opportunity for progress has been diminished mm -hmm. because of income inequality. Good point. All right. That's it for us now. And it's Hillary Clinton commenting on what happened in the 2016 election. Right, She's still right. talking about it, but your reaction to Can't this. Can't blame her for that. The Iowa caucuses and 41 percent of Democrats are uh, socialists or self-described <laughs> socialists. And I'm asked, are you a capitalist? And I say, yes, but with appropriate regulation and appropriate uh, uh, accountability, uh, you know, that that probably gets lost in the, oh, my gosh, she's a capitalist. Uh, what do you think of that? <laughs> Uh, I think she's still trying to figure out what went wrong, what happened. Um, Do you think she's a capitalist? Uh, well, sure. She supports capitalism. I don't know if she's a capitalist, but she supports the system. So she believes in capitalism. She and her husband so, have gotten very so, rich. So. so she believes it. I mean, I believe Trump's a capitalist, but I believe that... Are you a capitalist? Uh, so um, I, I believe in capitalism, but uh, I think that she feels she lost to Bernie Sanders voters because he was saying he was a socialist. So I think that was... She thinks it was the key phrase, which would have won New Hampshire, would have helped her with everything, would have helped her with the younger voters that think capitalism is a bad word. So perhaps she You know, she might she be right on that. It, 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 politically, I mean, if you, you talk about the, turn it off, that, especially that the go-round in this next election, Charles, you can make an argument that even breathing that word is, is not acceptable. That's, that's true, although, uh, although a capitalist did become president. And when she was talking about it was the primary, she was eventually the nominee. That's right. Uh, you know what? It was more about her uh, just assuming that she was going to be elevated to the, to the presidency instead of working hard for it, which, by the way, is a tenet of capitalism. <laughs> Do you think, though, kind of, it's, what is it? I mean, the, the rap against Democrats, not all, but many, that they don't like uh, capitalism. They don't, they, they, they think, you know, companies are getting away with murder. Um, that they really don't really help out their workers. The I mean, I, I keep, yeah, which I keep goes hearing back this. to Seattle. I mean, so you would think that Amazon would want to do the right thing and help. No, its but community. on this, are, do you so agree with that? Concept. Do you have a dim view of CEOs? Do you think? No, not if they give back to their communities. And no, not if they do the right thing. And if but there's what is your definition of the right thing? Well, what Hillary was saying, actually, she said in an interview, was people believe there's such inequality within these companies that the, the bosses are getting all the money and there's such uh, wage inequality with women and men that capitalism is looking so bad that it is the C-word. And word. it's it up is to the government to force and, and narrow that gap. It's up, uh, to, she's saying people don't understand perhaps capitalism and the way that Bernie Sanders explains the socialism in the free universities and doing the right thing. So if thing. you weren't too so, much, you, you wouldn't mind someone in, in government, let's say you lived in the South, telling you, no, 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 you give back. What, giving back as, yeah. a, as a company? You as an individual, you're too wealthy. Oh, I, I, I believe we have enough taxes already in the system. I believe they should be allocated appropriately. So I, I think we have enough taxes to go around. Just the what's bridge, a, just to what's a good acceptable rate do you think the, that the rich should pay? Um, I, I believe that we have enough in the system. We don't I know not what need, you said, but what's it except you obviously more. feel that people like Charles don't pay enough. No, I just, no, you yeah, told I me in the green room more. that you should I pay 99%, you should pay, right, you should pay 1%. I absolutely yes. believe you should pay more. So I, but that will be the battle royale, I think, in the next right, election yet right. again. It, it will be, uh, the, and, and the, the notion of sort of, uh, listen, we know that there are large corporations that also shoot themselves in the foot, poor Absolutely. boards of directors who are, that pay these, uh, these, you know, GE, Jeff Immel. I mean, give me a break. Look what he did to that company, and look what he did to the stock. He made a lot of money. So you can see where there's some legitimate anger. But again, these are, pri these are entities, these are private entities, and if they want to ruin themselves by rewarding bad behavior, they're ultimately going to pay a price I just worry about it so real quickly. Like, good behavior. But I worry about it when it would be like me offering you dietary advice, which I wouldn't. Thank the you. The government offering anyone, uh, you know, monetary or, or financial <laughs> advice. It's kind of a slippery slope. Right? Well, yeah. I mean, but the, the government, they know what they're doing, don't they? Oh, right? sure. Right? That's right. right. Great, great faith there. Exactly. Guys, I want to thank you both very, very much.
Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America.